$60 for a million MT. It's actually a good deal. MT is very cheap right now. It just costs six bucks to get 100K MT. You know, I don't know how long you would have to play the game to grind up 100K MT, but I know it'd be a lot simpler just to pay $6 and get it. For any person like me with an income and can afford to do it, I know most kids can't, but most adults can. Now, if I take $60, and spend it on VC, I get 235,000 VC. 50 is gonna get you 200K, and then another 10 is gonna get you another 35. 235,000. Now, which would I rather do? Take a million MT and then just go buy three, maybe four, possibly five players that will for surely improve my squad? Or would I rather buy 235,000 VC and gamble opening packs and maybe possibly get one or two players that I like. And with the other option, with the VC, you're not even getting to choose which players you get. They're, you know, it's it's a gamble. You open in packs, you get whatever you may get. With the MT, you buy exactly the card you want. So that's why a lot of people take the risk. But is it worth the risk? See, as technology gets better, 2K's ability to monitor what we do becomes better. So for People to assume that they don't always know what you're doing or they're not watching you. I think it's that's bad thinking, bad logic. I think it would be better for you not to underestimate your opponent and assume that they do know what you're doing and that they are watching you. Even if they aren't, it's better to assume they are. And as you can see now, whenever you sell any card or buy any card in the auction house, the transaction is held over for pending. It has to be reviewed. It's like scoring a touchdown in the NFL. All large purchases will definitely be reviewed. Smaller ones probably take the less amount of time. I would think the bigger ones get held over so they can actually review them. I haven't made a large purchase or made a large sale yet, so I don't want to speak to it personally, but I'm guessing that the larger ones will probably take longer to be uh, processed. They're, they want to monitor. They know how much MT should be in circulation right now. And if you're sitting there with four or five mil on your account right now, after only season one, then that's a red flag. The reason it's cheap is because not a lot of people are buying MT. If a lot of people were buying, it would be more expensive than this. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. This is all about supply and demand and the demand is not high, so the price is low. I myself, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna try it. I'm gonna buy MT this year, but not on my main account. I don't advise anybody to do it on their main account because there have been bans already. <laughs> there have already been lots of bans. I'm sure you're gonna hear about it down in the comment section of this. And you're probably gonna also hear about people who saying that they bought uh, MT and it was fine, they've gotten away with it, but I'm telling you that some people are gonna slip through the cracks, but more people than ever are getting are gonna get banned this year because they have a much, much better way of monitoring it than ever. That I can tell you for sure. So if you guys wanna take the chance, be my guest, go ahead, feel free. Uh, let me hear about what you got. But me personally, I've already been banned once permanently on an account and it hurt real bad because I lost a lot of games and a lot of content, a lot of things that I can never get back. Uh, I don't want to take the chance with my main account ever, ever again. So I'm going to make a dummy account just for the purposes of doing videos and showing you guys what happens if you buy MT. But all I can say for you guys right now is be cautious and don't just uh, go off in the experience you hear from someone else. Don't think that because it went okay for them, it's going to go okay for you. Uh, everybody, This is called my team. So your, your experience is not always going to be the same as somebody else's experience. Now, my theory is believe it or not this is my theory uh i don't believe all of these cars were put up here by real players i think some of these cars were put up here by 2k as bait you make this purchase they review your account and see how you got all that mt i think they're bait like like the police put out bait cars for car thieves like they leave a nice car unattended in a bad neighborhood and sit there and watch it and wait for a thief to come along and steal it i think it's the same way with some of these cars and even if one of these cards aren't a bait card. I still think that when you make one of these large purchases, that purchase will be reviewed and, and flagged because they're gonna go ahead and review every transaction you've ever made. Outside of uh, new technology, I just think that smart thinking is also a way that they're gonna crack down on uh, a lot of these people buying MT and to put bait cards up here for us to buy. And then when you do make the purchase to go ahead and just 
basically audit your whole uh, account, then yeah, that, that's something that's just smart to do. That's just easy entrapment right there. It's definitely something I would do. That's why I said it. But yeah, if these prices are like this on the site, then people are definitely buying MT and 2K is definitely aware of it. So be cautious and just, um, I don't know, make smart decisions is all I can say because I know it is very enticing to go ahead and just spend $60 and get a million MT, but you don't know what's going to happen on the other, other side of that transaction. You just don't. But until the next time, I got something for you guys. It's been me, your boy EC Rallo, and I'm out. I love you, Kira.